Hello friends and fellow collectors, thanks for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at some of the Cat Mini playset assortments in PDQ. Uh, that's not pretty darn quick, it means something else, we'll get into that here in a minute. This is what the outer case looks like, which typically you're not going to see unless you're a hobby dealer. But inside, you will see all of the different individual packed micro playsets. So, let's go ahead and grab a couple of these out. This is what the, kind of the little packaging looks like. What's really cool is that, to my knowledge, there's no way to tell which of the four sets are in each of these. So it's kind of a surprise. Um, which I think kids will like. Kind of neat. Down here by my finger, you can see each of the four different sets. All of these will come with accessories, which I think do add to these. So let's get a couple of these out. Uh, again, these first started appearing at Tractor Supply and Menards towards the end of last year, 2023. And now they're going to be made available to uh, any hobby shop or toy shop that uh, may want to order this. So as you can see, there are quite a few in here. I want to say maybe, maybe 10 different pieces. No, that can't be right. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 16 different pieces rather. Kind of cool. All right, I'm going to get a couple more of these out, and then we'll open up a few and see what mystery awaits us in each of them. Quickly, before we move on to opening up several of these, I wanted to show you what the actual uh, table or checkout counter display looks like. This is what it looks like fresh out of the box. We simply just pop this up. Uh, there are eight to a side, to two rows of eight, so obviously there are 16 total. Uh, in the assortment. And as I've said before, we can look over on the bottom. The the barcode or the UPC code, they match exactly on all of these. So there's really no way to differentiate uh, what model is in each. So, kind of cool if you ask me. It really does add to the mystery. Alright, let's open up some of these. So I randomly picked six out of the master case. Let's go ahead and pop them open and see what's inside. All right, so this one, how cool, has a little mini cat backhoe. Again, these are the exact same type of casting and models that are in the micro constructor set. So this one has a backhoe. It also has uh, what looks like some road barriers, some red road barriers. That's one of the accessories. And then the other accessory in this set is the, the fun sand. So the cool thing about this sand is that it's supposed to not uh, stain anything. It's supposed to be easy to clean up when you're done, uh, when your child's done playing with it. So we're gonna, again, we're gonna open this up and test this out here in a minute. I just wanna get through a few more of these. Hopefully with any luck, we'll, we'll get one of each. All right, next one. I kind of like this. It's fun not knowing really what's in here. Another thing I like about the the, pa the packaging for these, the plastic packaging, is it has a little handle here, a carry handle. You can take it to the, uh, the park with you. Okay, so this one's different as well. This has the D5G track type tractor or bulldozer. We have some Jersey barriers, the large cement concrete barriers used in road construction on the highways. And yes, some more play sand. Moving right along. Opening up this one. So here's another bulldozer, so we'll skip this one. All right, here is a one of my favorite micro constructor castings because this scales out almost perfectly to HO scale. This is the Cat 906 Compact Wheel Loader. Uh, looks like we have some more concrete barriers here. Different than the other kind found with the backhoe. These are much bigger. And then, yes, you guessed it, some more sand. All right, moving right along. Next. All right, here's another 906. Here's another 906. So we're just going to keep going until we get the other one. Let me 
another D5. Hey, here's a different one. So this is the 315DL excavator. For your end model railroaders, this is a perfect end scale or 1 to 160 scale excavator. This one looks like it has some uh, some I-beams. Never seen red I-beams, but hey, at least they stand out. And hey, some more dirt. All right, let's open up a couple more of these because I believe we have one more to find, which is... We've seen the, the 906, we've seen the excavator, we've seen the dozer, we've seen the backhoe, so we have to find a skid steer. So let's keep going. This one's ta double taped. There we go. Another excavator. Starting to wonder if, despite the picture, if there are only four different types in here, not five. Nope, there it is. Hey, just when we thought all hope was lost, here is the last of the five, which is the 272C uh, skid steer loader. A little bit larger than HO scale, but it'll work if you want to have a skid steer on your HO scale railroad. Check this out. That's cool. Two outhouses. And more sand. Alright. Let's open up the accessories in here. And we'll take a closer look at it. Alright everyone, thanks for sticking with me. So I've got one of each of these things opened. Again, we'll take a quick look at each of the vehicles and their accessories. So this is the D5G XL uh, in close to 187 scale. Although it probably scales out better to a D3 than a D5. Blade can go side to side and raise a little bit. The accessories provided, obviously sand comes with all of these, so I'm not going to mention that every single time. But uh, this one does come with the concrete barriers. If you look at the side, these actually do lock into each other, which is uh, a neat a neat feature if I don't drop it off the table. And you can lock them, you can join them together like this and lock them together. There's a total of three. It's a little added feature I didn't know existed. All right, next up is the 906 compact wheel loader. Again, close to HO scale. Uh, actually scales out quite well. Raises and lowers, and the wheels roll. And that set comes with these large red barriers. These do not connect together. At least I don't think they do. But they are kind of cool. All right, up to the 272C now, the skid steer loader. Again, close to HO scale, but not exact. This will raise and lower. And as you probably have already figured out, these are made of a um, combination of die cast and plastic to keep them affordable. And this one comes with the two outhouses or porta potties, and the, the door actually does open on both of these. As for the sand material, before we get into the last two sets, it is that fun sand or the smart sand. As you can see, it's very, it's like a almost a silly putty esque material. And it clumps back together and cleans up quite well for uh, good use for indoor play. Next up, we have the backhoe set. The arms raise and lower on the front, and then it goes back on the back. Uh, this is close to end scale. A little bit too big for end scale, but close enough. And that set comes with, as you can see off to the corner, these red type barriers. Almost like street divider barriers for street work. Good choice for a backhoe. And then the last set is the 315C, or uh, excuse me, 315DL, D as in Delta. Uh, and this, again, is a good, good solid model to play around with. It will rotate 360 degrees. You have good bucket movement, good arm movement. And this set comes with five of these red I-beam pieces. There's the I. All right, that'll do it. So overall, I really, I enjoy these mystery packs. These are great for... Um, as I mentioned in the beginning part of the video, as something for a little no novelty to give away. Uh, it's great as a little toy and safe toy for, for children. And then for us adult collectors, you get a lot for your money. I think these individually are between 2 and maybe $5, somewhere in that range. Um, and again, you do get a lot for your money. 
and certainly some great, great little toolings. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.